Hey guys! You might be like, this is an Undertale genocide, and it, it's not. Uh, I don't know, I was staring at Undertale today, and I was like, I don't... I don't know, man. And then I was like, okay, a lot of the day is going by now, and this is supposed to go up tomorrow. If I'm not gonna play a fucking Undertale, we're just gonna start something already. Because I... <laughs> I just... Don't... I'm not feeling it yet. And hey, I could use something short, because Banner Saga 3 comes out very soon. Which... Seems like no one knows about that, so, you know, just a heads up, guys, Banner Saga 3 is coming out soon. And I'll be happy to play that just like I played the first two, so I could use a short game. And this game's been in my backlog for a very long time. This game is called Icy. It's a 2D side-scrolling action game with... Without getting into much spoilers, let's just say it has a hint of Stan, uh, Stanley Parable. I've been looking to get into this for a long time, and, uh... I guess now's the time, finally. What kind of options are there for a game like this, really? No voice option, huh? Not a game that's gonna be really heavy on options in general, I would assume, yeah. Anyway, let's get in there. Ah! Right to it. Alright. Gotta jump. Got a midair attack. Whoa! Prolonged, flashy combo. We have a double jump. Location Lost Woods. Altitude 404 meters. For speed to upgrade? Ooh. Hello. I've got zero dollars, but I can use them to, to upgrade things. I'm just gonna not read them right now, because I don't have money yet anyway. So, normal attack is X. Y is heavy attack. Whoa! That's my heavy attack. Oh! Ah! Ah! Some... Suddenly combat. Uh, B destroys enemies' cores to remove your- to restore your own hit points and shield. Uh, D... So D pad plus right bumper can- oh shit, it went away. Uh, dash. That's- you maybe not con- maybe the middle of combat's not the best time for tutorial, guys. That- what- that doesn't pause the game. Oh well. Hopefully that middle part wasn't very important because I didn't see whatever was in the middle of the three things. <laughs> so I have a dash. You can dash pretty often, too. I guess we have a little stamina meter in the bottom of the screen there, that's like how much I can dash, but like... You really have to spam it, I think, to run out of it. When- Ah! Admit- What the? When an enemy attacks, press right B- and then B to deal huge damage while they're exposed? Okay, I gotta say, this, these tutorials are kind of bad, right? Like, it just throws text up for a few seconds. And I have little context for what's going on, and then while I'm reading the text, a video plays, and you better have already been watching that video the whole time, because it disappears, but you can have watched the whole video while it was on the screen, because then you wouldn't have read the text that explains what the video means, and by the time you read what either of them is, they'll both disappear. I'm like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck's up with these tutorials? It's probably not that complicated of a game, because it's a side-scrolling action game, but I'm like, what is up with these, the way of presenting information? There we go. All right, let's try doing this dash. There we go. Ooh. Welcome to Silent Hell. All right. Subtle reference there, not not remotely subtle. Ah, what? Use heavy text to break through enemy shields. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how anyone's ever, ever gonna have time to look at that video on the corner of the screen when they're playing. The audience at home will be like, I totally had time to watch that, but that's because they're not playing the video game, so they can just passively just zone out and watch videos in the corner, and then wait, let me, allow me to narrate information at them. I took his head off! Yeah! What a cool monster design. The art in general is really nice. Even though I have to play as a weird, awkward, ruby anime character thing. Hold X to absorb en energy crystals that appear, and then let, let, do a magical attack. Uh, massive attack, I mean. Damn, that's a lot. Damage increases when you absorb more energy crystals. Alright. I have $24 now. Ah. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a really fast fall through the water. Alright, so platforming. Bad things happen. Ah, 
I can probably upgrade things now. Did I say probably? I meant can't at all. I have $24, the cheapest thing is 50. Moving on. Each attack will do more damage as your combo increases. I don't know why I was attacking, honestly. Uh, uh. That wasn't very nice. Ow. All right. That's just a solid miss he got there, buddy. Oops. I'm trying to do this counter thing, but I don't, I don't have it down at all, honestly. Nope. There we go. Is he alive or... Oh, phase two. There we go. I did the counter. That did not do that much damage. <laughs> Still, it avoids you taking damage, so that's nice. That's really the reason to do it, I think. There we go. Trinity's Chains. Achievement unlocked. You only have $24, huh? Did a whole fight. Am I missing the money somewhere? Are you... Is she deaf? <laughs> Alright. All right. <laughs> yes, I, 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 uh, I see them. Oh wait, now they say I see. The little okay prompt, the part where you click okay says I see. Let's press a button. System crash. Wait, system crash is making keyboard sounds? Who's typing these things? Repair failed, I see. I at your service. Uh, excuse me? Alright, read me. A very small percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to flashing lights in this experiment. Contents of this experiment are not intended to insult or offend. Please do not take anything personally. The contents of this experiment are highly classified. Do not share any classified materials with personnel who do not have proper security clearance. Hey, you guys all have security clearance, right? I'm gonna take the silence as a yes. Uh, n not, not only one person is permitted to undertake this experiment at a time. Hey, guys, close your eyes. <laughs> Do not contaminate results. Notes, I, system interface, reserves the right of final interpretation for this experiment. About. System interface is a self-regulating artificial intelligence system developed by Fontablade. Fontablade reserves the right of final interpretation. Any disputes or damages caused by the system are the responsibility of I system interface itself, as Fantablade has no liability in such matters. Alright, back to it. But now the screen now we're watching it on a screen with like scan lines and everything. Alright. Sure. Spiral? Weird spiral? All right. Don't know about you, because I'm a debaser. Girl is so groovy. Oh, chromatic operations happening. <laughs> is that you? I yeah, sure. Close enough. Did you take off the mask? Uh, yes? Do you prefer a more difficult journey? Yeah. Hard. Okay. Uh, 
Back to the start menu. Cool. Wait. Continue doesn't work. Alright. Options. What is happening right now? Oh. In the middle of a dark, quiet room, filled only by the sounds of humming machines, a figure floats, suspended. She, Icy, has no memories, no past. Memories to her are not important. Her existence only serves one purpose, to kill Judas. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. No matter how many difficulties or obstacles she will face, Icy understands that she must accomplish her mission. Destroy Judas. In the darkness, Icy awakes. Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. This is what the start button does. All right. So yeah, I had to mash the continue button to make it work. Ah, that's a... Ah, what an uncomfortable transition for the pause menu to have. Am I supposed to go on that fence? Is that the trick here? Who left their car lights on? Their battery's gonna run out. Also, there's... How is their car light on while there's... Moss growing on top of it? How long has it been out? I seem to have kept my money. Now we're being commanded of what to do at all times. Uh. Are they even attacking me? Sometimes. <laughs> Not very aggressively at the moment. Why do I have to kill all the cute robots? Why can't we start a robot colony? Oh, yeah, they can land on each other. They can actually platform on top of each other. They really are just a pair of legs, and then they couple that pair of legs with either a gun or a, an axe. And that's their whole body. They're just a, a delivery mechanism for weaponry. That wasn't very nice. Attacking me off camera is very rude. Oh, that was a bad miss. Oops. Once, a, once again, quiet hill, illuminated by light, dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. It's a weird amount of narrating, right? Like it has a, it's actually, it's not just, it's not just saying what my goal is or where I'm going. It's, 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 descri it's describing my surroundings and my mood, and how to perceive my entire environment. Yep. Combat's a little awkward. Still getting the feel of how some of the moves work. Something about the animations and feel kind of give you this impression that you're going to be really fast. But then you, when you actually... When it, when it comes to the interaction between controls and, and what you see on screen, you actually feel really kind of slow and locked into your attacks. I'm getting used to that still. Ah! Grabby. Weird hands defeated. What is that symbol? It's almost like a trading card. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. Icy moves to activate it. 
Oh, I could have not done that, huh? And that, although if I jumped in the hole, I, historically that doesn't work out for me. Judging by how the, the liquid was treated before. Not a lot going on with the combat so far. It's flashy. And mashy. If you can just group everybody up into one mob, you can kind of just punish them. Pretty much continually. Got him. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Psych. Icy slipped and fell right into the sewage. Oh, he counted for that too. But only afterwards. I can finally afford an upgrade, I think. Neat. These are combos? Yeah, these are combos for the most part. How far do you get before they're not combos? These are unique attacks. Use hit points to attack while avoiding all damage. Huh. You can't take damage during that attack, but the attack itself costs you health. Sacrifice hit points to flurry. So a lot of these things use hit points. I guess, I think you get healed by some of your finishers though, so it kind of goes back and forth. Release shadows that swiftly attack the enemy when their weakness is, weakness is exposed. It just, it'll just show up over enemies, saying that you can do left bumper to attack them. I'm kind of curious about when that activates. Let's look at that. There we go. Now we got Shadow Slice. Up to level one. Ah. Right, a lot of these skills are already level one. So next level would increase its damage, but as far as the attack go itself goes, XXXX, I already have that. I just need to level it up to get more damage out of that attack. Or that's X's in the air. That's XXXY in the air. YYY in the ground or air. XY. Up and X. That's a launch. Old X, that's, yes, we know, what, we know about that attack. So I already have Shadow Slice. Just pr that way, that's, no, no, sorry, that's one I just got. Uh, but down an X, slide. Th th oh, yeah, we know, I knew about that one. Increase the amount of damage Icy can withstand. That's a straight up upgrade. The amount of damage the energy shield can mitigate. See through enemies' attacks and greatly damage their core. Chance for enemy energy crystals to appear. I think. Oh, that's just the dash and counterattack. Yeah. And then regeneration. Regen Icy's hit points and energy shield when rupturing an enemy's core. Chance for energy crystals to appear. Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? Where is the bridge? Hmm. Right, just keep following the arrow. Hee <laughs> ah. Hi. The heck? Whoa, what? How did you come in here? This... Something's wrong here. Hello. They're telling me to follow the bridge, and of course I'm not going to. I see arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. I wonder how often people actually follow orders in these games whenever they're given the option not to. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. The culprit? Most likely Judas. The go-to assumption would be that Judas is probably not the villain he's made out to be. 
Especially since I keep playing, I play puzzle games like every single day on this channel and in puzzle games, whoever's narrating you at the entire game is always actually going to be the villain at the end, or at least reveal that they're lying. Deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I see ignores yet another arrow and selfishly continues on her own path. <laughs> oh, now he's getting sassy about it. What Icy doesn't realize is that unless she defeats Thor in the village, Ultimopolis Gates will refuse her entry. <laughs> Am I supposed to hear her, him? Like, is, is Icy supposed to hear him? Does Icy know that... Is Icy aware of this annoying guy that's, like, passive-aggressively saying things to me without it being... without just addressing me directly? Ow, rude. Keep trying to press down Y, and that's not an option. At least for now. Counterattack is quite easy to pull off, usually. So whenever there's a, whenever an LB shows up, I summon a duplicate of Icy that does one little slash. Don't know how strong it is. Don't really have a, lot, a good sense of how strong anything is. Numbers show up, I suppose. If I'm gonna, tr if I'm gonna try to keep track of those in, the, in all the chaos. Ah, yeah, it's pretty much a normal attack. 37 damage for the for the LB. But hey, it's an additional attack on top of all the combos I'm already doing. So there's that, I guess. The gates to Ultimopolis are closed, just as promised. Icy has completely, totally, and unnecessarily wasted her time. Her only option is to follow the arrow. I'll prove him wrong. Just stick your blade in there, I see. We can pry it open with our super anime girl powers. Can I da Wait, I can dash upwards? I didn't realize that. I thought I did- I thought it was a forward dash. You can dash downwards and upwards. Oh my god. I have so much air control in this game. And all it does is slowly degrade that bottom meter, but not very quickly. Like, I can dash so much before it runs out. And it, re it really quickly refills. I think if I just pause for a second in between them, it always makes more forward progress than negative progress on the meter. So you can just be in the air a lot. Well, I can go way up here. How do I go in there? How do I go in there? I want to go up there. There's a light over there. Alright. At the moment, I think I do need to follow along. Here, in this place. Oh, B is explorer. Now I've got to try again. You go into the background with the letter B. 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 No, I tried. Got to check because apparently B is how you go into the background elements. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance, and continues to follow the arrow. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, warehouse. How do you do? Icy enters the warehouse that uh. is completely devoid of any living creature, just like the attic. The attic. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Again? Can't you just follow the arrow at least once? What is this? I. Oh, well, well, this level was never finished. Do you realize how much inconvenience I've suffered trying to make a successful game? A few flaws, a few bugs here and there. It's normal. Like this place. I never finished applying the colors. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. In reality, it's really difficult to make a game. And it's very easy for problems like this to appear. Just, just wait a minute. I know you don't trust me. I'll just have to show you. Okay. I learned something. Wait, we're here now? Okay. So... I thought the narrator was in-universe. Like a character, a commander, somebody telling me to go kill the bad guy. 
and stuff like that. He's not in universe. He's the game's creator. He may not. He may not be the game's creator because I, I think I heard this game might be Chinese made. So it's you know it's a it's a voice actor, but I mean he's it, his role is to be the game's creator, like the video game I'm playing, not the mission I'm on. Welcome to the archive room. All of my prototypes are stored here. When making a good game, fun gameplay is of utmost importance. I've been iterating on prototypes for over 10 years. Can you believe it? That's an entire decade. Here, let me show you my first prototype. This is a very early version of the game. You could change to a long range weapon so that you could use both melee and ranged attacks. But then I thought, who in their right mind would care for such an amazing weapon? No player would want it. Not a single one. That sounds like not the real reason. I feel like the real reason so the end, was that it was time consuming to make. This prototype. <laughs> that brings us to the second version. In the second version, there was a sort of mix between the demonic enemies and the player. You could absorb the enemy's powers and use them for your own. But then I ran into a big problem, cost. Don't you think it would be a waste to spend so much time on making such a complicated game? only to run out of cash halfway through development? After all, games do need to make money. This is bizarre. There's a mini-map in the corner. Do I ever get that, I wonder? Or is that from so the I old prototype too? As well. Unknowingly, 10 years flew by in the blink of an eye. With all the effort I spent, I think a few scattered bugs or missing features are entirely acceptable. I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed so much trying to make this a fun experience for you. Are you eating on a microphone? I spent 10 my years God, he of my is. youth on this. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give the game a five-star rating? Like this. <laughs> Besides, Who's going to dig this deep into a game? The visuals are stunning. Buy it. The producer is famous. Buy it. There's so many reviews. Buy it. I thought that's all people considered when buying a new game. Like a machine spewing out cash. Do you really beat all the games you buy? Games are about entertainment. Don't place too much value on a few mishaps here and there. I think this guy might be a little bitter. <laughs> People will still buy the game, even if the servers are bad. People will still buy the game if there are bugs. So, man, why not buy another? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> After ascending the Holy Throne, Judas was able to finally carry out his plan. After developing System I, he transfers all of his followers' memories into a virtual city called Ultimopolis. At the same time, with System I's help, the Chosen One, Icy, was born. What is happening? Where am I gonna blow it in now? Oh, can I, can I choose? Oh, no, that's where, that's where my save is. Oh, fuck. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man. I think he was making fun of the... He... It's... <laughs> clicking on continue doesn't work again. I have to probably mash it. As far as I can tell, the game's making fun of the fact. That, like, there's a lot of indie games out there where they just... Up front and... F up front, they give you, like, the sob story of how hard development was and all the sacrifices they've made, and then you're supposed to just automatically then just... forgive everything and think the game's amazing, uh, because... You know, it was a labor of love and stuff like that. Like, we got that a lot in Cuphead. Andrew and I are playing Cuphead, and the game, despite the two players being featured clearly in all of its promotional art, and the, the blue character and the red character and everything, it's clearly meant as a single player game. And several parts of the game break when you play when you play multiplayer. All of the side scrolling levels are like blatantly not designed for play for multiplayer. But entire boss fights have unique glitches that only happen in, in multiplayer. And what really stood out to me is we were playing the game like months after release and there were glaring 
infinitely repeatable glitches that happen 100% of the time in, in, cer in certain uh, levels and stuff like that, and they still weren't fixed. And I'm like, and then whenever we'd raise our concerns about these things, all of the fans would just talk about how, like, they basically give us the 500 excuses for why the game is above all reproach and criticism. <laughs> and the guy's like talking about, I worked really hard on this, and can't you just give it a five star review? Meanwhile, he's just making all these like lip smacking sounds like he's eating on the microphone. And okay, just launch, please. Oh, last time I had to mash continue to continue. This time I'm supposed to go over here to the side. Okay. Whoops. 